we already know that the membranous labyrinth of the inner ear with all its sen special sensory components develops from the otocyst, yeah, from the otic vesicle. That is of neuroectodermal origin. One of the developmental stages looks like this. Once the once the otic vesicle is transformed, it looks like it's it's the ductus and uh, endolymphaticus, the endolymphatic duct, the dorsally, the utriculus, and more ventrally the saculus, and then a primordium of the cochlea. This is the autocyst. This is the endolymphatic duct. The utriculus. More dorsally. The saculus. More ventrally. And primordium of the cochlea. Then it grows and is transformed to a form that already resembles the final shape. So we got the longer, a longer endolymphatic duct, which ends with a bl blindly ends with the endolymphatic sac, and then we got the utriculus and the three semicircular canals that are mutually perpendicular here we have the dilated ampulla So we need to have some perspective here. So that's the utricle and then the saculus. And then the cochlea with its approximately two point two and three quarters of turn. So we got one, one turn, two turns, and three quarters. So this would this will be the cochlea. where the uh, hearing receptors are located and arranged along this spiral organ. This will be the saculus. This would be the utriculus. Together they are perceiving um, horizontal and vertical movements of the head with the otolids that are triggering nerve impulses of the sensory cells and we got three semicircular canals that are mutually perpendicular so they run in three planes that are perpendicular to each other to perceive angular acceleration in three planes because we are living in the three-dimensional world 
This is the endolymphatic duct. And the endolymphatic sac.